How's it going guys? Brandon Taylor here from Delphi Gargonauts here to give you a little lesson on how to play Creatures of the Deep. So we're going to do a couple of the riffs from the song. Uh, we're going to start with the intro and then I was good, then I would be showing you the pre-chorus and then the uh, chorus itself. So without further ado, let's get started. So the tuning that we're in is an open C, which from low to high, it's C, G, C, G, C, E. So kind of similar with uh, drop C with the C, G, C going on, but you pretty much just run it all the way through the guitar except for having the high E string. And what's really cool about this tuning is the fact that Whereas you can still get the heavy stuff from like the drop, regular drop scene tuning. But when you actually go down and do a power chord on the lower strings, it becomes a suspended chord. So you get like this very lush sounding kind of thing. Help it with I being too. Give me one second. All right. Sorry about that. As I was saying, when you use the power chord on the lower strings from the C, you actually get this more lush sounding kind of thing. So it kind of pretties up that sort of sound. So, but going into the first riff, it's, um, it's simply just hitting first note is the open C string. And then it goes to two, three on the, um, the C string. And then you go down to, so they, then it heads back to the two. Then it goes into two, three, two on, no, yeah. Two on the G string, back up to the two on the C. And then you hit two on here. So like, just here. And then you do a similar thing with the, uh, on here for the third string, it's then you come back on three on the third fret. So, well, yeah, the second string on the third fret. So in speed, it'd be but once again, slowing it down. The second part is is all of that. So, but the second half of it is actually where is where you get to. You will actually slide all the way up to the sixth fret on the third string. Then you go, and then it, it resolves back into the 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 A riff of the main riff. So all in total it looks should look like this. So it's pretty it's a pretty simple riff, but it's pretty catchy. So all together it'll, it'll be like this. So the next riff we're going to go into is the pre-chorus and then also the chorus riff. So I'll just play it in full speed first, just so that way you guys can see what's going on. So when you're doing the pre-chorus, pretty much all of it is being done by bending the string. So you'll start on the third fret of the C string, and then pretty much what you're going to do is you want to try to get it to where, you know, when you're doing the bend, you want to do it slowly. So 
it, it's going to have to count in your head uh, how many hits on uh, when you want to do the bend. So, so by the time you hit the third hit on the string, you want to start bending. You don't want to go too far. You want to only go to where you get like a, that the next half step. So. And then before you transition into the next note, which is the second fret, you want to get all the way back up to regular position. And then what's going on here is I'm simply starting on just the one string. Then I bring in and bring in a whole bar chord, so it'd be like this. And then pretty much doing, I'm just doing dissonant chords for the um, the chorus. Three, and then you hit. You're gonna go on the fourth fret on the second string to get that dissonant. And then riff B comes in words. You slide up two, two frets up, keeping the shape all the way all the way through. Yeah, you come back and then you keep that position before going back into the regular chord. So yeah, this is a quick video on how to play the main riff pre-chorus and the chorus itself. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys want to see more videos of me going through like certain parts of the song, then um, let me know down in the comments. I appreciate your, uh, your opinion. All right. You all have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.